So today was supposed to be a full villa tour, but I went outside today. Like the weather in Marbella has changed. There was a storm last night, so there's leaves everywhere. We also have an orange tree, which is growing its oranges at the moment, which is very exciting. So I'm gonna clean the garden before I decide to do the villa tour. I think it would be good to do it when it's really sunny. Lots of people are visiting and we're actually going out to meet some of our friends this evening. So I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup now. I already started it a little bit, so I'm gonna do all of my final touches. I'm using this spiked Shape and Shade brow tint pen from MAC to do, I'm gonna try do it in the camera lens. Yeah, just a little bit of a flick at the side of my eye and it's not too extreme because it's not black. It's like a dark brown color, but this just creates a nice shape when I don't want to do a big full eye. I just want it to be more open. I also got sent like the best mascara ever. I'm gonna put it on for you now. It's the Swede Cloud Mascara and I can't believe how good it is. I'm gonna show you. Like look at that eye compared to this eye. We are gonna warm up my cheeks a little bit because I'm starting to look super pale. So we're gonna go with, I showed you this in the last video, so I thought I'd try it on for you. It is the Gingerly Blush by MAC that I was talking about and it just gives such a nice bronzy, blushy look to the cheeks. And this is my Hourglass brush that I've used for years and it's like never changed shape. It's so good and it's also double-sided but just look how much my cheeks warm up because I need all of the warmth my face can get at the moment. So the friends we're meeting today are Irish friends and some people actually do ask me, do we get lonely here in Marbella? And I actually see a lot of my friends here often because it's so easy to get to from Ireland. So it makes it a little bit less lonely having visitors here so frequently but I'm due to go back to Ireland again on December 21st. I'm home for two weeks and my sister's actually home. She just had a baby, so it's gonna be my first time seeing the baby. She lives in Australia. We're still gonna put up a tree here and like do all of the Christmas, Christmassy decorations, but we're actually gonna be in Ireland for Christmas, which I'm very excited for. So for lips, I'm gonna go for the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. I wear this so, so much. I might even do a little bit of spice MAC lip liner as well. And then I got the Road Peptide Lip Treatment. I got the strawberry one. And then I also got the watermelon one, but I got them when I was in the US and they didn't ship to Europe. And now they ship to Europe. So I do recommend it. I've been using it quite a bit lately and it's so, so nice. So let's do lips. I feel like the finishing touches of a makeup look are always the best because you kind of just look like a blob until it all comes together. So this is what comes out like. It's like a nice squeezy tube. Mmm. Mm. It smells so good. I have given my hair a chop since the last video and it feels like almost the shortest it's ever been but also the healthiest. When I looked at the last video and I was editing it I could see a little bit of damage from the bleach I was putting in so I've decided I'm gonna let it kind of take its course and grow out the blonde. Maybe not bleach it again for a couple of months because I always want to stay blonde but I don't want to cause too much damage so I'm just gonna do a little like face frame maybe for Christmas. That is the makeup look. I'm gonna go get into my outfit now, of course, show you what I'm wearing. I've no idea where we're going yet, but I'll take you along. 
Okay, so we have some new Amazon <laughs> additions to the house. These are actually for Rob's podcast, but we just have them up at the mirror for now. So this is my outfit for the evening. I'm wearing a little belt, a mini skirt, and some knee-high boots with a polo woolly sweatshirt tucked in. I'm actually gonna give you all the details tomorrow because I'm gonna do maybe a mini haul of like autumn and winter bits that I got. But this is my outfit, very simple. I was gonna wear tights, but I think it's just not that cold yet. now Sunday and another day another fleece this one is from mango it's like a little knitted zip fleece and I've been living in it I'm about to do my haul that I said I would be doing yesterday before I get started I just want to say that it's not often that I will do a haul for like each season I think social media sometimes tricks you into thinking that you need to do a haul and buy loads of new clothes the minute the weather changes but we basically only got our wardrobes installed maybe like a month or two ago. So I realized that a lot of my winter and autumn winter clothes are in Ireland and I needed to get some new bits. So I'm gonna go through some wardrobe staples, things that I love that you might be able to find other versions of and just show you what I've been loving recently. I went a little bit shoe crazy, but I've put out all of the pieces in the living room. <laughs> and I'm gonna run through everything I got. Okay, starting off with the boots that I was just wearing. These are from Zara. Can't go wrong with an over the knee boot. Little gray sweatshirt I was wearing is also from Zara and I love the kind of polo neck, especially tucked into a little skirt. The black mini skirt is actually from Mango last year. I would recommend checking out Mango if you wanna get a good mini skirt. And I also love the mini skirts on Revolve too. I have some good Revolve black mini skirts. While we're on the topic of mini skirts, I got this mini skirt from Zara and I actually tailored it slightly to fit just slightly better, but I absolutely love it. I'll show you here how I styled it. And I actually think this would be really cute with loafers too. I'm wearing it in the video with just an off-shoulder naked fashion top, but I got these loafers from Prada when I was home in Dublin, and I think they would be really nice to all with it too. You can get lots of different loafers from other websites like ASOS, Naked Fashion. I just got these as a little treat for myself for my birthday, so they're definitely staying in my wardrobe forever. I noticed I wear a lot of jeans and I really wanted to get some nice belts for the jeans. I found this one in Mango, which I was wearing in the previous video with the little gray top and the boots. But then I really wanted to get an amazing gold one and I've seen these for a while. So I decided to get one because I think, again, it will just be in my wardrobe forever. It is from the brand Below the Belt and it is this little gold, hardware belt and I've been living in this since the day I got it. I think having genuine leather pieces, like real leather pieces in your wardrobe is just such a good investment because they'll just last forever. And I'm gonna show you a perfect example of how a belt will dress up an outfit. So I got these linen pants from Zara. I'll again have everything linked below. I love these. I think I can wear these from winter into summer because they're nice and light, kind of a light material. But I'm just gonna show you how the leather belt makes a difference to these pants before and after. I'm just styling it here with a little white tank top. Love how light and airy these pants are to wear, so I think I'll get a lot of wear out of them very perfect if you want to wear them in every season as well because they're so light. When I got the new belt I wanted to lay it out with some of my favorite kind of bottoms that I would style it with and I found I think the perfect pair of jeans and then the perfect light shorts again a really linen material that you can wear through the winter and also the summer so I'm going to start with the shorts. 
styled these with just a little turtleneck from Mango, a ribbed turtleneck. And these are from Meshki. I have two pairs, one in the sandy beige color and then another in black. And I think these are so perfect. I live in Marbella, so it's gonna be hot for most of the year, but then also for the cold, you can style these with turtlenecks, jackets and stuff, and then wear them with a tank top during the summer. So I think these are a really good purchase. course I had to get them in the black I think these would be really really nice with a pair of tights maybe some heels I actually wanted to get these for a while they actually still have the plastic on which I need to take off they are from the brand we wore what I got them when I was in Miami delivered to my address because I'm not sure if they have customs charge when shipping to Europe, but you can double check. These are the We Wore What, I think they're called the straight leg blue jeans. I don't know, I'll link them below of course, but they're just the perfect fit. Like I don't think I've ever found a pair of jeans to fit so perfectly, so I had to get them. I style them with a little off-shoulder top and I think off-shoulder is all in right now because it's showing a little bit of skin but also covering your arms if it's cold. I'm gonna show you some little festive dresses I got from Zara. This one is a little satin halter neck dress. This would be perfect with a pair of tights for winter and you can also wear it in summer. You can't go wrong with a little black staple dress. I think this would be really nice paired with a blazer too if you want to make it more wintry. Blazer, tights, boots. I want to sit back just to show you this. It is a little pinstripe dress from Zara. I can't believe I found this in Zara. It is so nice and such a good fit. absolutely love this mango jacket. I love the neckline and I think it's like the perfect little creamy bomber. I found this brand called Vanderbees. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it properly, but I think these are the perfect suit pant and also this little lacy top, which I have yet to wear. I'm becoming slightly knitwear obsessed. Of course, I love this one from Mango, but I wanted to get a matching knitted set. I got this one from Frankie's Bikinis. It's a little bit on the pricier side, but I think I'll have this in my wardrobe for a really, really long time, if not forever. It has a little hood on top, and I could probably wear this with jeans too. I think my favorite part is the pants, because they have this kind of like roll on the top of them. And again, I could probably style these with loads of other things, loads of other knitwear and just to have like a comfy flare on the bottom. I realized I didn't have a matching beige suit, so I got this twill suit from Naked Fashion. I found the quality of Naked Fashion is actually really good. So I got this suit just for going out in December in Dublin. I know it's gonna be freezing. I think this with just like a really nice shirt underneath or even like a tube top would be really cute. I also thought I'd show you this hoodie because it's probably one of the best quality sweatshirts I own, apart from my own brand, of course. But I love the sporty and rich sweatshirts. I think they're just such good quality and I actually think I lived in this all last winter especially in Dublin, so I thought I'd show you this as well if you're just looking for a really good quality sweatshirt. Much as I love summer, I love being cozy in winter and going home to Ireland, living in like a sweatsuit for days. I think Brandy Melville's really good just for basics and at a good price. I got these sweat bottoms and also this little gray top. I think these just are really, really comfortable. Some gray shorts as well. Gray t-shirt, I wear a lot of gray, I've realized. And I think the cutest pajama set I've ever seen in my life. These shoes I got in Zara, they're like a classic court heel and they have like a nice little gold strap at the top. I think they'll be really, really nice 
with some tights for the festive season. How cute are these? These are little like bow mules that I got in Zara and I also think they're nice and festive. I like them because they don't have any hardware. Sometimes if there's gold on the shoes, it will kind of clash with something else or silver. These are just super simple and really, really nice. I actually have some dress shopping to do when I'm in Ireland. I'm booked in for two bridal fittings while I'm home. So I really want to document that either here or on my Instagram. I love this kind of long form content and I want to make more long term, long term, long form content like this for YouTube. It's really, really enjoyable, but I will hopefully document a little bit of the wedding dress shopping. My mom and my sister are coming with me. So it'll be very emotional, but thank you so much if you made it this far in the video and I will chat to you again soon.